want you to be educated. You can't just, you know, turn over the keys and say, hey, make my house pretty and, you know, I'll let you do all the work because basically then the contractor knows, well, this person doesn't know anything. I'm going to charge you more and you're going to end up pulling money out of your pocket that you don't need to. So the big thing I always say is look at the fundamentals. One of them is you always want to make sure that you're finding reliable contractors who are setting themselves up like a business and not somebody who's just changing their cell phone number every other week. So look for professional affiliations like the Better Business Bureau or maybe they're part of a new home warranty program. Whatever it is, make sure that they're set up like a proper business. And, and look, look at past work that they've done as well. There's no problem asking to see past projects. If they're going to be doing a big project for you, why wouldn't you want to do that or ask for referrals from friends? Yeah, clients love to brag about the work that they've had done and they'll tell you all the good and all the bad. The other thing too, have everything in writing. Your quote should be in writing, the actual contract should be in writing, and it will lay out everything. If there's some of the work that's not up to your standard, it'll tell you in the contract what has to be done with that. You can also go online and you can get sample contracts that you can use, but just always make sure there's a contract in writing and make sure your uh, contractor is licensed. But remember, just because they're licensed, it doesn't mean they're any good. Exactly. So that's why you have to check references. Uh, the most important things to realize, uh, contractor intelligence is not too high, so more grunting. <clears throat> Renault, good. That's the kind <laughs> to speak his language. No, is that not here? No. Oh. Hmm.